On board now of Esteban Ocon, who has just been struggling this weekend, qualifying outside of the points, and now losing a position to Alex Albon and the Williams on a fresh set of tires, powering his way through the grid. Look at this, squeezing his way past Gasly. Oh my gosh, this man is unstoppable today at the Australian Grand Prix. Alright everyone, how you doing? What is up? And as you can see today, we are taking on the weekly challenge as Alexander Albon in the Williams. And this is definitely a very interesting challenge because it shows you how to take on just completely dead, flat, gone, destroyed tires. And then how to do a pit stop, get fresh tires, and then make your way through the grid to get some points. So here we are, lights are about to go out. I'm sitting in eighth position, right behind Ricardo, right in front of Sainz, and I am about to make, make some serious moves, about to shake and bake and show Ricardo how it's done, take away those talents from the Honey Badger and show him that there is a new competition in town, okay? Because even though these tires are dead and about to fall off a cliff, I can still. Yeah, as you hear, these tires are gone, but I can still make it happen. And I just, but this gives us some time as well to talk about the tire wear and degradation in the F122 game. Okay, Daniel, strap five, please. Strap five. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm sorry. Does Daniel Ricardo think he can just throw in a different strategy, pop in into a different gear or something and make some moves, make some miracle happen? Because as you saw, I just come in on the outside, drop it into fifth gear, come around this turn, which really deserves to be flat out. Maybe a little tap on the brake. Maybe a little love tap. But nothing more, nothing less. And Daniel Ricardo seemed to have just fear in his eyes because he almost just brake checked me and slammed it. But anyways, as you're about to see here, I'm about to go in the pits because they're about to call in a whole new strategy because these tires are gone. I'm slipping and sliding. You can definitely see it's like a hockey rink out here. Almost going to the pit wall, but I got pit assist on because that is a major help if you do not understand the mechanics. I can't figure it out. But what you're about to see here is something I do very well and do understand. And that is how to press a button on time. Getting optimal pit, um, pit times here. About to go back out. But anyways, new tires and old tires, very similar. You're going to deal with a lot of understeer. You're going to feel that steering wheel if you're driving with one. Go light. You see here the brakes, the tires have no traction, no grip. That's either because they're really old or brand new. So you're going to slip and slide. The tire temperatures are either going to be way too hot when they're old, allowing them to just kind of melt and just kind of slip and slide. You're not really getting that grip. But we're going to jump forward here on these new tires as you see what happens as you start warming them up. They start getting some temperature in them to them. I'm going to get right behind Sonoda and this, this slipstream, as you hear me say a lot, this toe is going to help these tires kind of stay in a reasonable temperature even though I'm using ERS to help the overtake because these are fresh tires. These are doing a lot better than what these guys are on because they have not pitted for some time but here we are you see a little bit of a battle going ahead I'm gonna take advantage of that get behind Alonzo has opened the door for me and I'm the draft coming in okay I'm gonna freeze you out making things happen but Magnus in here he doesn't think so he doesn't like the idea of that so we kind of make contact but forget about it I'm about to show his teammate and the Alpine or Alpine how it's done pinch myself through a little unorthodox so let's hop back and see their perspective to see if it really was unorthodox if that was a bad move or just amazing racing done here by Alex Albon a little lock up in front by his teammate causing some time between them creating a gap I'm taking advantage of that because now Magnuson is having to break kind of react to what's going on ahead of him and Alonzo who's battling Shoemaker, as we see here in his onboard cam, he's battling Shoemaker, and this allows me to really take advantage of the time being created between them. And the gap is shortening 
allowing me to slip right in there. As you see on the right hand side, I kind of kind of put my elbows out, but I zoom right past them. Look at the time I'm making up. They kind of clipped into the, the grass here. They lost some time and this allowed me to now just make a move on Stroll. You see here, I make it on the outside, kind of make that move. He didn't see me, I believe, because he tried to snap back, but quickly reacted and I am now making my way down the main street, making amazing time. The Williams, I'm gonna be honest, it felt good going down the straights and the turns is a little, it's a little wonky, but once these tires reach temperature, I feel like in the game they do really great at doing some amazing racing. As you see here now, the AI in this game, I'm gonna be honest, I like it a little bit with some of the patches and some of the updates, it's changed, it's gotten a lot better, they're still aggressive as you see here, Zhao really putting his elbows out, really putting up a fight. He needs to make these points for Alfa Romeo to show him, hey, you took a chance on an F2 driver, and I'm going to show you, you to not make a mistake, alright? But, kind of like what I did to Ricardo, I fly through there. Do I am afraid we have a technical issue? Are you kidding me? Again? And it seems like that move was made possible because Zhao is having some technical issues. Ferrari with the reliability seems to be imitating that very well here in the game. Jump forward a little bit because that lap got a little boring after making the moves on Zhou. And here I am about to move forward on Ocon and Gasly. And as I was saying, the AI here in the game through some patches have gotten a lot better, allowing you to definitely adjust the AI difficulty and kind of find your place in the game because to begin with, they were nearly impossible to fight. They hit a straight line speed, they get in DRS zone and they were gone. But now, the game is working a lot better for us. The game is allowing you to definitely get in there, have some great battles, as you see here, flying past Ocon, putting my elbows out, getting behind Gasly, getting in the slipstream. The physics in this game have gotten a lot better make a clean pass he tries to pinch through but there's still some work to be done because as you will see the ai is still reacting greatly kind of reacting realistically but at the same time they really like shutting the door on you and they do not care if they put you in a hospital they do not care if the wife and children you have at home have no one coming home to them they do not care all they see is a podium and they will take it from you because you will see here later on in the video that, that happens to me a couple like with Ricardo the honey badger but it doesn't matter I, I make the move but we're, we're here now behind Botas making moves and I think with the patches now the game is a little more playable a little more enjoyable but hey you live and you learn and that's EA baby but here I am behind Botas trying to make some moves. I'm getting in the slipstream. It is quite a battle. Alfa Romeo, he may have not liked what I did to his teammate, but I try to make the same move happen as I've done in the past, pinching my way through and may have to do it here in the DRS zone. These fresh tires, no longer fresh, almost perfect. Around 220 degrees, that's exactly where you want them sitting at because that's going to give you some great and Whip. box now, box, box now, box for hard. Stay out, stay, what stay out, stay out. Why? What? What? Tire position five. Multifunction tire position five. Oh, um. but, but yes. Ferrari messing up the strategy once again as they have been in this 2022 season, really struggling to see who should be on the podium, Leclerc or Carlos, because. Even though Carlos deserves it, they keep favoring Leclerc. But let's go ahead and see our front runners, Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc, and see the battle they are doing right now as we go into lap 57. We see Max Verstappen, of course, gaining some time on Charles Leclerc because he's dealing with some reliability issues, maybe another throttle issue. Maybe not a throttle because it seems he's battling here, but he is losing time. Could be an engine. They have had to go through consistent engines and deal with grid penalty, uh, grid penalties at the start of races because of how many gearboxes they've had to switch out. I know Sainz is on his fifth. Leclerc, I believe, is on his fourth, hitting that limit. On board now with Max Verstappen, getting a little more personal. 
as he's making a clean move, flying into turn one, but Leclerc is putting his foot down, kind of shutting the door there, pushing Verstappen out into the grass, taking the curb, losing time. He thinks he can get it done here, pushing those RPMs into seven, trying to rev them into eight, and he goes, I just can't get it done. He takes that curb again. But here we are with our freaking driver of the day. I'm going to call it now. He's definitely getting driver of the day, Alex Albon, because he has made his way powerfully through the grid. Once you put on those fresh tires, get him in the temperature, make some moves, get in the slipstream of your opponents, really understand the gears, the track, how to take the curbs. You really can make a difference on some clean set of tires because here I am once again behind Ricardo. Look at that straight line speed because as you see his tires are definitely wearing down and it was mentioned to me by my engineer that his tires were struggling, that he was losing speed. Here I am. As you see here, a little camera shake. I was slammed on the side of Daniel Ricardo as I was making the move. Definitely got my nose in there way before him, but he decided, no, I'm going to try to slam the door in his freaking paw. And he made it happen. But anyways, I'm about to come here, flying in, made some points, 8th place, baby. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you learned something. An amazing weekly challenge. I challenge all of you to definitely do these because helps you learn how to play the game better. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, share, driver of the day, as I called it. Once again, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm a high performance athlete. Athletes sweat. Sweat, baby. Sweat, sweat.